uh, without any champions, it'd still be a difficult matchup for us to win. Ooh, uh, there's a champion. All right. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Lucian Misfortune deck, our next one for the random champions. So we're going with some scouts and a whole bunch of rallies for this deck. It just basically small units going wide and rallying and attacking a whole lot. That's going to be the goal of our Lu Lucian Misfortune deck. We could have put more card advantage in here and some of the, the units that draw cards, but I kind of felt that like that would kind of make us like a similar to a Bandal City deck, but not nearly as good. And so instead, I just want to have things that go wide and attack. Um, we have a, a little bit of protection for our champions with three Sharp Sight, three Rangers Resolve. So we got those. But we have these things that are going to basically be two, two units each, right? Marai Warden. Two mana, you get two bodies. Petty Officer, three mana, you get two bodies. Island Navigator, four mana, you get two bodies, but then they both have Scout. And so that's that's the goal, is like just go wide, um, throw things against the wall, <laughs> you know, and just uh, try to attack a lot, you know, going wide with, with Misfortune and Lucian. Like, it's good for Lucian because Lucian wants to see four allies die. So if you, if you play a lot of allies out, you'll have more allies die. And it's good for Misfortune because then Misfortune makes them all better attackers. So I don't know how, how good this deck's going to do, uh, to be honest, but hopefully it does okay. And, uh, you know, we'll try being very aggressive. Put two Cythrias at the top end. I wasn't really sure what to do with this card. You know, it could really put, you know, it, it is, it does cost a lot more than the rest of the deck. So you could replace this with something else. If there's anything else you wanted to play, like maybe Grizzled Ranger, or maybe another Golden Ages, um, you know, whatever else you wanted. But I just got a couple of Cythrias up at the top end. Okay, Vagar Senna. So we got Darkness Control. Darkness Control is an amazing deck. They have a great late game. We're going to have to have a super fast uh, early game hand. I like the Relentless Pursuit, but we're going to be sending it back because we don't have a very good hand of finding cheaper units. Okay. So this is what we got. Demacia sends its regards. Oh, dancing That's too bad. Oh, dark. I guess we're blocking here and saving one mana for Ranger's Resolve. Scythria is looking a little expensive. Ugh, gross. Just a <laughs> generic one one. Only I can command darkness. Only I. Smooth break fall. Alright, so not looking the best. Okay. There we go, that card's a little better. Darkness is doing five damage. So my plan this round is to probably just play Ranger's Resolve. Nothing else. Plan to resolve, of course, here, so this doesn't die. Right there. It's been a hand.
one of the good guys, but not that good. A glorious battle! All right, so not not our game. Game for them. Witness true power. Behold our fury. Good bright seal protector. So if I if I bright seal protector the misfortune, then they shoot the three one. Yeah, the bright seal protector just doesn't help. Unfortunately, I'm not playing it. I think we're probably playing the the Cythria. Love you. <laughs> so obviously they're gonna do that. Been a long path to get here. Follow my lead. Man, that. All right, so they had a very, very good hand. One drop into two of the two drops that increase the damage into Vagar, into another Vagar with the stun. That was a crazy turn. They have just had a ridiculous hand. I've got your back. Since they're doing seven each, they're fast speed. Press on. Oh, I've never Come on, an O3? We've gotten a couple of pretty poor right on. Um, random units. Also, we got just generic 1-1 one, one and generic 0-3. Oh, yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, so, you know, that's a loss. But I could see us, like, we actually put up a pretty good fight. I could see us winning that matchup, you know, half the time. Okay, so we're going to see the same matchup again. Like I said, I think that we could do okay in this matchup. It's not a good hand, though. Did I send it all back? Yeah. We want our one and other, like, other two mana units, not... Not the Bright Seal Protector, but then we also want one mana units. Alright, so nothing to do on one, but we do have Ranger's Resolve that we have to keep the spell mana for. Triple Mirai Warden. Give me your Mali's creatures of doom! Behold, brilliance! Turrets, keep me! My mind! There's a chill in the air. Their deck's much different when they have that catalyzer. It increases that damage is mercy. for the darkness. Yeah, whenever you're mulliganing, you basically always want to look for, especially with an with an acro deck, you always want to look for your one, two, one and two mana units. And, you know, one, two, three. Like, you want to be able to just curve out really well. Won't catch me a fight. I wonder what their hand looks like. It took, took them a long time to think about that. Oh, love the Misfortune. So we're going to want to go Island Navigator this round. Misfortune into uh, Mirai Warden next round. So that thing does three, which is really annoying. Okay. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. So I want to play that before attacking. Obviously, they have the darkness, but we have Ranger's Resolve to stop that. Possibly I could have played the Mirai Warden first, see what they do. So 
And then I could have had those things, like these things have tough, also with the, the, Mirai, the two Mirai Warden things have tough. There we go. Just generic 2-1. That, that's that's all we want there. Now they don't have tough. I need to get the most damage in as possible. So Misfortune's gonna attack. I would like to see our rallies. Right, we have the five rallies. That's what I'd like to draw right now. Second opponent in a row. That. Um, you know, has the Catalyzer on two as Vagar right away. Two most important cards to have early. Has them both. We got a good attack. With some scouts. And if a bunch of stuff dies, we can replace stuff. It's really like, do they... Please don't have another Vagar. Okay, good. Good. Because that other Vagar... You know, that, that's what really hurt us that last game, how they had the second Vagar, that Vagar champion spell of, like, stunning everything. Hey, that's pretty cool. Nice little one drop there. That costs more. Without me. They definitely could have just done this and gone up to 11 and been just fine. Okay, we're gonna count this as a win. Nice one and one. She came back on him. One and one. Senna with Twisted Fate. Man, we are playing the anti-aggro control decks, aren't we? All right, so the problem with the tw this Twisted Fate version is this is much. This is going to be much more difficult for us than regular Darkness Control. I would rather face the regular Darkness Control because this version, playing Bilgewater and Twisted Fate, means a you have red card from Twisted Fate. You're going to have Powder Kegs. It's going to make the red card better. You're also going to have Make It Rains, which are really bad for us. So Make It Rain, Twisted Fate, all that that kind of stuff. Powder Kegs. Those are all terrible for us to see, so this is a terrible matchup for us, basically. Their deck's designed to face small units. Our deck has a whole bunch of small units. Not a good matchup. But you never know what, what can happen. We don't have to win consistently. All we got to do is just win one game. Maybe they have a bad hand. We do have a good curve. We got both champions. So you never know what could happen. See nothing left when I'm done. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Of course, that's what I was talking about for being very bad for us for the powder kegs. We play in build rules, so. Wow, that Mega Rain's a really good draw. They could maybe take out Let's get to it. a powder keg. Wait a minute. I have to attack immediately before Red Guard, or Twisted Fate Red Guard, but. Yeah, so they have that. So we gotta hope that this works. Hit the powder keg, please. Yeah. Good. But yeah, they're playing Withering Whale also. So Withering Whales and Make It Rains and Powder Kegs and Twisted Fate. You really couldn't design a worse deck for us to face. Where 
Where do you stand on cold shots? Okay. That's good. Fortune. Yep, there's his favorite card. So the problem here is, actually, you know what, maybe I should have just like pulled this Dreadway deck hand and then just gave the barrier to Misfortune and just bail to attack with the Misfortune with the barrier. Actually, that probably would have been a better idea. Oh well. Because I want to kill the Twisted Fate, but honestly, killing the Twisted Fate is kind of a bad idea, considering that they get to play a new Twisted Fate. Yes, this wasn't the best idea. I think I should have gave the barrier to the misfortune mail to attack with it, and then just challenge the 2-1 that just gets killed immediately. So I'm playing this first, see if maybe they spend all their mana, I don't know, maybe they play a Senna. And then I get to, you know, I want to, want to play this Blinding Assault so I can get two attacks so I can level up misfortune. If somehow they cannot kill my Blinding Assault, my Valor, and also cannot kill my Misfortune. I don't really know how this is going to happen, how we get that lucky, but maybe we will. Nope. We are not that lucky. Yeah, with the dual yes, with the dual region cards, they can be played in either region. There, all the dual region cards are Bandle City, Bandle City plus something else. And there's not that many of them, but they can all they can all be played in either a Bandle City deck or the other deck. So, like uh, Poppy is Bandle City Demacia. So if we wanted to play this deck with Demacia and Bilgewater and play Poppy, we could, because Poppy does have Bilgewater. Ranger's Resolve is a great draw. That would have been really good to have last round. If we had this last round, this Ranger's Resolve, we would have stopped that go hard and uh, basically won the game on the spot last last round with then level up Misfortune. So giving everything fearsome is not a bad party trick. How is my three one still alive? How did they not? How did this pool shark not block my three one? last round. Did I attack with it? Yeah, you'd want to play Darius over Scion in decks that aren't doing any kind of discard. That's just like a, that's just a regular burn deck without any discard. Because it costs, it costs one, one less mana, it can get to the 10 power easier. Alright, that's going to be game. Wow, I can't believe that we won this matchup. Can't believe it. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. There are, there are pirate aggro decks in Bilgewater Noxus that play Darius, that, you know, play like Misfortune Darius, or maybe Misfortune Gangplank and Darius. Uh, those kind of decks you're not going to play Scion in. You're going to play Darius, but Darius works pretty well with them. Alright, send it all back. So we got Mono Shirima. Cool, cool, cool. See you, Nasher. Alright, so they didn't use to, um, like that wasn't always... Like, known information that it was revealed. Have a good day at work. 
There's a chill in the air. What deck is the most complicated to play? Probably like a uh, deck that we played the other day that we went 5-0 and ranked with was Heimer Victor. I would say that that would probably be like the most complicated. Just um, decks with Curious Shell Folk, tons of manifest. You have lots and lots of decisions to make all the time. Okay, I think I'm actually maybe maybe I'm just gonna pass. I know I could blinding assault, but let's see. Am I gonna want to relent? No, I guess we're not gonna want to relentless pursuit, are we? Okay, so we can we can go and play this. And a misfortune would have been nice to have. Got it. Always forward. Yeah, misfortune would have been really nice to have. We got it first. Two allies have died for Lucian level up. Do not see what is. See what will be. Yeah, I guess this it's not that important that I have the scout. Burn away the shadows. You dare. Whoa. I wasn't exactly expecting that block. That's kind of bad. Basically giving Illusion a barrier to be able to block. Because otherwise, like, that's a lot of damage coming in attacking. Looks like they're still attacking anyway. Misfortune. I needed you earlier. Soldiers to me. No, not fear fire. Give you gotta give Lucian top, so now Lucian should level up. Something to keep you damn soon. We're gonna need more coffins. Okay. We gotta level up Lucian. We got Cythria. About to have a misfortune and a whole bunch of rallies. Huh. It is time! Gives me a rally. That could be one attack. All right, so that's our first attack for misfortune. Second attack for Misfortune.
Cool. Not cool. If I play Lucian first, then the Lucian gets the vulnerable. Look at this place. And then they play like the Waking Sands and challenge and kill it, but that's gonna be game. Alright. Good win again, Lucian Misfortune, three and one. Little surprise lethal. Put to rest. GG's. Lulu Poppy. I should look for champions. I guess this card is the one I'm mulliganing. I was trying to think of like which one to mulligan, but I think I want to keep all these that like give us the two bodies. So this is the kind of matchup that I was worried that we we would kind of be like a worse version of their decks, and that, that's why I wanted to have I wanted to be aggressive, like pretty aggressive, and not really play the card advantage because I didn't want to just be a worse version of these decks. So uh, without any champions, it'd still be a difficult matchup for us to win. Ooh, uh, there's a champion. Right. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. I hope they don't have, like I don't have the Rangers resolve to protect. Cool. Let's see if they had uh, the Tristana spell. That'd be bad for me. From all the regions we are one. Yeah. Send them all in. Wow. They have Rangers resolve. Love ya. That was quite good for them. Remember what I told you? Swing low, send them sky high. I'll make you proud. Every wave is a path. Okay, this wasn't a bad hand. Yeah. That did not really seem like a bad hand to me. I think, I think they had a pretty good hand. Who will do not doubt? I guess I could have blocked Poppy with a 2 1. Yeah, I probably should have blocked Poppy with the 2 1, and then I could have this challenge. Just relax a little bit. Always forward. Pretty good hand. Sure you want to do this? Hope you're sturdy. Oh, wait, they're at eight. I should be attacking in with more things. What if they draw that card right now? Because that th that card has two puff caps on it, right? Draw stinky wump. Oh, so close. I think we're gonna win this. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we got this. 
This is our way. Like, that should just be game right there, right? Misfortune level up. That's Captain Fortune. Man, what a crazy good win. Repositioning. Because by round four, they had played this Yordle Smith and Bandle City Mayor and Poppy and Loping Telescope and Rangers Resolve. That's why I'm the captain. That was their first four rounds, and we won. All right, so really good win. That last one for Lucian Misfortune. How about a four and one record? Just going going wide and going underneath the decks, right? Like we needed that miss. You know, the Misfortune was obviously MVP in that matchup, but um, it it is. But, you know, that's that's one thing about those Bandle decks. They do have a bunch of small units. So blocking whenever you have, like, the deal one to battling enemies is kind of difficult for them. And that's what we did. You know, we played Mar Marai Warden, Petty Officer, Island Navigator, go wide, and then Misfortune. Like, so, so they have to block a lot of things, and they're taking one damage for each thing they're blocking. That actually worked out pretty well. That worked out well. Um, the Cythrias were okay. You know, like, I, I was happy with the Cythrias, for sure. And so there we go, a 4-1 of just being going wide and being aggressive, and we were just able to get some wins. So how about that? Very nice. Uh, this deck, you know, like, would this deck... If you want to make this, like, the best you can, it's probably not with Lucian. It's probably with Poppy, because, you know, Poppy loves that you get to go wide with all this stuff, so probably playing Poppy over Lucian would be the way to go. Um, you know, you could play Poppy instead of Cythria, basically. So basically, if, yeah, so just... This is obviously a different deck, but if you want to make this as good as possible, it'd probably be doing that and then playing something else in the one and two mana spot. Um, not exactly sure what that would be. There's a lot of different options that you could play. Fortune Croaker, Dreadway Deckhand, Box to Puss. Um, <clears throat> another one drop if you want with like Crackshot Corsair, Krusty Codger. Those kind of cards are perfectly fine. Um... Could even play Stony Suppressor in this kind of deck, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, Laurent Protégé is not bad. I would probably want another one or a two. Honestly, Jagged Taskmaster is a pretty good card in here also uh, that I was considering because we're going to get so many random one-cost followers with, you know, Navigator, Petty Officer, Warden, all those putting in one-cost units. So Taskmaster is another decent card you could play. Um, I would probably just end up playing another one-drop. I don't know. Whatever, whichever one you, whatever you want to play, uh, you you can play <laughs> something else. Um, Dreadway Deckhand's amazing with Misfortune because it makes that Misfortune ability do two damage. So like that's a good option with that card. Boxapus is always good. Like you know, having challengers is always good with Misfortune, um, and you know that's all that's obviously good with with Poppy and with Bright Seal Protector also. So maybe a couple Boxapus, get a couple challengers, a couple more challengers in there. But, uh, you know, whatever option you want. But you could also turn this, basically what I'm trying to say is you could turn this into a poppy deck that, since you're going wide and uh, buff up your allies. And that could be a good good way to go if you're trying the deck out and uh, the Lucians aren't really cutting it. Feel free to try that also. All right, but there we go. That's uh, going to be Lucian Misfortune. Go wide, attack a lot, Relentless Pursuit attack even more. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know how you like the deck. If you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Or if you try the Poppy version, let me know which one do you like better, Lucian or Poppy in this kind of deck. But of course it was random champions, so we were playing Lucian. All right, that's it for this video with Lucian Misfortune. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.